Hey everybody, today we're going to be looking at the Ruby find and find all methods. They're on the enumerator object and they're used to find specific elements that you're looking for that meet a certain condition. Uh, in previous videos or a previous video we looked at the member method on enumer or enumerable objects and today we're going to look at this one. That just returned a boolean if that element was in the array. In this case though, let's take Matt, Ike, and Jonathan as names in this array uh, and so we say names dot <coughs> uh, find and then we give it a block we'll say name we'll say uh, again this the whole purpose is to fill fill some condition you know so we'll say uh, name dot length greater than three so it returns Matt because Matt is the first element that it comes to where the name's length is greater than three. So let's just say greater than five. Jonathan is the first one that it comes to and really the only one in the array. But so that's that's very handy feature. That's a, a very handy feature. So now we do a find all and that will find you all the elements in the array that have a length in this case greater than five. So if we do three, greater than three, there you go, Matt and Jonathan, greater than one, and you have all three elements. And that's a pretty handy feature to be able to iterate over everything very quickly and just find what you're looking for. So you could also say something like, if name dot length greater than three, and, and we'll give it a regex here, we'll say name, oopsie, I obviously cannot type, but we'll say with a J in it, and there you go. So now it has to have a J in it, plus the length has to be greater than three. We'll do A. Now we have two that fill that condition. So it's, it's a great way to easily iterate, get everything back that you need, and do it all in one line. So those two methods, don't forget them. They're good.